All right, Rob B, you've got uh, the QAnon. Actually, you've got our topic from Jacqueline Robinson, yeah. TLSfans.com topic. I, I, I did inherit this one from the TLS fans page. So thank you, Jacqueline. So I think that we can all remember or visually create the image in our minds of the QAnon shaman. Uh, Mr. Jacob Hansley, <laughs> and I think we all remember him for his enthusiasm, his costume, um, well, during the January 6th insurrection. But a federal judge on Wednesday sentenced him to 41 months in prison for his oh. role in the oh. deadly January 6th attack by former President Donald Trump's followers. Fun fact, he is the second of these rioters to receive this penalty for 41 months. The first was an MMA fighter by the name of Scott Fairland, uh, who attacked police. And I just I found it interesting that his MMA record is zero, one, and zero. Just like his <laughs> record. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, I wanted to get reactions from people. Do we feel that this is justice being served? Is 41 months enough? for the role that these people played on the attack on Capitol Hill on January 6th. Let's start with Dr. J. I think this is about as much as we're gonna get. Is it enough? I don't know. Um, you know, this whole debacle of that happened and the fact that these folks have claimed everything but a child of God as to the reason of why they should have been allowed to act a fool on our nation's capital during a passage of power is beyond me. Um, and the f I'm surprised that he got prison at all, quite honestly. Uh, you know, they've been slapping people on the wrist for, for less. So I will take his 41 months. Um, years. He's still getting his vegan meals in prison and <laughs> he's still getting you know a lot of things that a lot of people sitting in prison are not getting so you know is he still getting his vegan meals for real absolutely uh, yes wow yes um you know he's trying to say that he has learned i don't know if he has i think he's just talking a game i don't trust him and uh we'll see him in 40 uh 40 months Lizzie, as long as you can come on. <laughs> Again, I am often disheartened by the lack of outrage from the justice system about what happened on January 6th. I, it, it just boggles my mind. This was a terrorist attack. It doesn't matter that these were white folks, white Americans who were the terrorists, this was a, ter a terrorist attack against the American government. And yet all of these people have been treated with kick 41 months, what? I would have given his ass life, all of them, life. Life, life in prison. I don't, I don't know if Again, I life. the entire US government was in the Capitol that day. If they had breached, I mean, it, it would have been over for us. Mm -hmm. They had no right to be there. And so 41 months, I'm just like, okay, at least he got sentenced to something. Yeah. But it should, I, I it's think- the It's the is, longest sentence they've, they've gotten out of it, right? Out of which all is the- laughable, Which six, is yeah. laughable, which mm -hmm. Because we have people who've been sentenced for weed. Long I mean, I guess the time. question is what would they, if you wanted a longer sentence, what would they have charged him with? The same charges. Well, the same charge. I know the that uh, the prosecution was looking for 51 months over 41 months. I mean, it's, it's one additional year, but I don't know what the, what the proper punishment or proper time of incarceration would be. I think we need better but, laws you know, it's, it's, to address in this. Other countries, in other it's countries, be he would have been executed. Yeah, he would have been executed. Yeah. Like, oh, so what does that say about our respect for the U.S. government? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, we, we've had laws for treason for years, which include execution. Um, so that is on the books, and I don't know why we wouldn't pursue that, that at least um, for these criminals, at least treason. Mm -hmm. 
Again, be- I can, you know, I can see the Capitol from my built from my apartment. Like I have a view of the Capitol from my building. Back in, so I didn't see, you know, the insurrection. You can but see Russia I from was, your house. I'm just- <laughs> I can see the Capitol from my house. I am no Sam Palin. <laughs> However, I was triggered and upset and worried that entire day. I thought this is it, y'all. We mm-hmm. we about to mm-hmm. go down. I thought so too. And I kept saying the entire day, shoot them. What are you guys waiting mm-hmm. for? I was I thinking the same thing. Saying, shoot mm-hmm. them. Shoot them. And, and and so I just I don't understand why we are treating these people with kid gloves. Like it makes absolutely no sense to me. No. Khalif, Khalif, Khalif Brown is sat in prison for longer and was never even uh, charged over uh, pulling speak back. Speak on it. Speak on it. Speak on okay. it. Okay. Remind us who and that imagine is. Imagine if this was a Black Lives Imagine if this was Kyle Rittenhouse's <laughs> protest. Khal- if this was a Black Khalif- Lives Matter protest on the steps of the Capitol and Black people had rushed into the Capitol. Imagine how different this would have looked. But r- remind Imagine us who what the outcome would have been. Remind us who that Khalif is. Brown- Khalif Browder was a teenager who was accused of stealing a backpack, which ultimately he did not do. He was sent to Rikers and he was never formally charged, but spent three years, a little over three years in prison, um, never charged over a theft of a backpack that has come out that he did not steal. And that experience ultimately led for him to take his own life. Yeah. Hmm. Robbie, you've got about, oh, go ahead. You got about 40 seconds. All right. So one thing that I found interesting about this read is that while in detention, Chansley has been diagnosed by prison officials with transient schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, and anxiety. Um, so is that something that should be taken into consideration when we're laying down the penal- the penalty on him? And the one ask I have now that he's and formally charged, he's going to do some jail time. Can we please stop calling him a shaman? Because <laughs> I mean, I, I take him about as seriously as I take Fred and Barney seriously when they're doing their thing with the Loyal Order of the Water Buffaloes. All right, real quick. So, what was the, the question? Repeat the question for Lizzie and, and Dr. J. Yeah, no, I'm just curious. Just with his the diagnosis of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety, should that factor into his penalty? Dr. J, what do you think? No. 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 Yeah. No. no. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who are schizophrenic and in jail because of and their bipolar. schizophrenia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're in jail because of their diagnosis, not in spite of it. Yeah. And, you know, who di- I mean, yeah, okay, who diagnosed him? Yeah. I mean, just because you lost your mind that day? No. <laughs> <laughs> That is another good point. That's another good point. I, I totally agree with um, with you. I don't think, I think it can play a role in some cases. I don't think this one, um, because everyone Wait, suffers from some issues? mental illness or or some some issue. Listen, I am I am batshit crazy, mm-hmm. okay, but I guarantee you that I would not be afforded the accommodations that these people have been. Yeah. All right. You so, get your you get your vegan diet. I'm sure of it. <laughs> your vegan diet. But can I get my can I get my vodka though? Can I get my vodka? <laughs> Check your prison me... purse, sure. <laughs> my commissary. Put some money in my commissary, y'all. All right, let me get to these comments really quickly. Um, Terry Powell Brown says, "Hey, Robin Johnson." <laughs> Mike Winter said, "Vegan <laughs> and organic meals." Um, Jose says, "The shaman is shameful." Not so tough anymore. <laughs> Jacqueline Rob says, it's not enough, but it's a shame that he took the criticism of several prominent judges about the light sentences these insurrectionists received before a judge got serious about this. Uh, Mike Winter, he also got credit for time served, so he will likely be out early if he behaves. George Fournier, he will be out in time to lead another insurrection if Trump runs again and wins the next election. Please don't let that. We cannot let that happen. God damn, I hope my cousin's wrong. <laughs> Jacqueline Robinson, a lot of us are still traumatized what happened that day. The DOJ has been asleep at the switch. I, and, 
Y'all, it it hurt my soul. I'm just going to say this. It hurt January 6th to see that on television in live time, what was happening. It hurt my soul as an American, as a Washingtonian, as a human. Like, I I just, I can't even, mm -mm, no, no, no. Yeah. Mm -mm. Totally agree. Totally agree with you both. All right, what are we calling? Is this truth, lies, or shenanigans? Again, I need a bullshit. I need a bullshit boy. Well, this is a, uh, <laughs> yeah, this true. Today's episode was all about shenanigans. We should have just had all shenanigans. In the... <laughs> all, it should have been all shenanigans this, this I episode. I promise, by next show, I will have my bullshit board. All right, by next show, board. we're going to look for it. We're going <laughs> to see some funny stuff. All right, so now.